What a long week of NFL football. I did not expect, you know, games to get pushed to Tuesday. That's exactly what happened. COVID has decided to run rampant in the NFL, and it continued throughout the week as we got into week 15. And week 15, oh, it did not disappoint. It did not disappoint at all. Uh, Thursday night, you know, Chiefs, Chargers, Chiefs, you know, they won this game. Fair and simple. When you got Travis Kelsey and Tariq Hill just running up and down on this Chargers defense, and the Chargers just making boneheaded decision after boneheaded decision, you know, going for it on fourth down like three or four times when they did not need to do that. I don't get it with the analytics, but you know, it is what it is. And we're going to talk a little bit more about that when we get down to the Packers Ravens game. Because, I mean, analytics didn't make any sense there either. But an analytics just does not make any sense. So Brandon Staley and company, you know, they got to be feeling something right now. They're they're losing the edge here, the Chargers are. They had they, they should have had this wrapped up and beaten the Chiefs. But no, no. Y'all let the Chiefs stay in this one. Chargers should have won this game, you know. They should have had this game in, in regulation too. Should have had in regulation. They did not. They did not. It's unfortunate. Colts and Patriots, meanwhile, you know, the Colts are apparently number one in getting takeaways, which is something I did not expect. This turnaround has been something that I did not expect. And, I mean, the Patriots couldn't really do anything until the fourth quarter when they decided to finally start scoring. They were held scoreless for three quarters. And then they finally decided to score in the fourth, but Jonathan Taylor shut that all down. He had 169 yards on the night, including a huge run for a TD that closed this game out. And the Colts are really in the thick of things in the AFC South. Just when we thought the Colts were dead, you know, weeks ago, they are alive. They are right there in the mix of it. You know, they are in the mix. Um, Steelers, Titans, unfortunately for the Titans, you know, Joe Hayden was the biggest factor in this game. <laughs> Joe Hayden was the guy that saved the Steelers this game. Now there was some there was some dubious ref ball at the end, you know, with Joe Hayden's tackle, you know, that was at like the ten yard line, but the refs tried to push it to the nine, you know. But he, he made two key plays in this game, one of which was the turnover that he caused, and then the other was that tackle that I just mentioned. And the Titans are free falling right now. This is not a loss you could have afforded to have. And, like, the Titans were up early in this game, too. So, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know, man. I don't know. Like, that was crazy. Bills get back on top. It seems like, you know, Panthers are pretty much done this season. You know, might as well pack it up. The Cam Newton experiment is not working because he hasn't won a game yet. It's not working at all. Texans get a big three over the Jags. It's good there. Cowboys use their defense once again, you know, to beat up on the Giants 21-6. to You know, the Cowboys still just don't have the... The offense isn't completely back yet. It's it's there, but it's not, it's not putting things away, of course, you know. Of course, Diggs got a pick, you know. Um, Hooker got a pick as well. I mean... I mean, everybody was getting picks. They, they they forced four turnovers once again, the Cowboys. They, they forced four turnovers. Seems like the Giants are pretty much done from the playoff picture as well. I believe they are eliminated, if I'm not mistaken. So, um, yeah. Um, seems like they're going to shut down Daniel Jones for the rest of the season, too. So, looks like it'll be Jake Fromm or Mike Glennon. Jake Fromm, he didn't do too bad, you know. When he was in the game, I mean, wasn't that bad at all, but I mean, wasn't that great. So, Giants are still in rebuilding mode, it's unfortunate for them. Cowboys are in the thick of it in the NFC, in the thick of it. I, 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 don't, think, I don't think this was a huge, huge surprise, but it ended up being very, very surprising. And that was the Lions just whipping the cards, I mean... They whipped the Cardinals. They didn't just beat them. They, they demolished them. Jared Goff, he was out there slaying it. 
he was out there slinging it like he was, you know, it's you know, uh, it's like a second or third year, you know, like he was, you know, during his second or third season, he was out there slinging it. Three TDs on the day for him. Where did this come from? Where did the Lions come from? They got a huge, huge victory. Huge victory there. Obviously, you know, draft order is going to be a little messed up now. But, I mean, hey, it is what it is, man. The Cardinals overlooked the Lions. I think we all overlooked the Lions in this game. And I don't think we expected this, man. Did not expect this at all. Cardinals, you know, they're losing their crowd a little bit in the NFC West because of their loss, you know. Dolphins are right back in the hunt, too. Do not count out the Dolphins, either. Yeah, they haven't beaten the best competition. We know the Jets aren't that great, but the Jets fought all the way in this game. They they, they took the Dolphins to the limit. I don't, know, I don't know how, but, you know, Tua's not... He's, he's, he's doing all right out there, you know? I mean, he's not doing great. He's, he's passable, but, I mean, he's not doing... He's not doing the stats he did at Alabama. He's just not. I mean, Jets picked them off, what, twice in this game? Yeah, they, 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 they picked them off twice. They picked them off twice. I mean, it, it, he, did, he, did, he did just enough. He did just enough, you know, in this game. You know, it is what it is. Dolphins are right back in the playoff hunt. Cannot count them out yet. Bengals get a key victory over the Broncos in a game in which, unfortunately, Teddy Bridgewater, you know, got concussed probably he's out um so drew lock had to come in and drew lock threw a touchdown you know in this game but the Bengals defense was on point when it mattered on point when it mattered they you know this this Bengals defense knows what it needed to do and it did exactly what it needed to do you know you know there was a f crazy fumble that happened in which the Broncos lost it, but then they got it. But then they almost got it right back. And luckily, you know, the Bengals defender was down when he got, you know, when he got stripped of the ball. But I mean, again, the Bengals defense, they really stepped up on Sunday. They really stepped up when they needed to. 49ers, they have completely turned their season around, you know, beating the Falcons 31 to 13. I mean, they just whipped them, whipped the Falcons, put them into submission, put them in the dirt. And then the Packers and the Ravens, Tyler Huntley got the start, no Lamar Jackson. And I mean he was finding Mark Andrews the entire day. Just I mean, it was it was what it was what it was, man. It was what it was. And however, however, this was the Aaron Rodgers show once again. I mean, Aaron Rodgers and the Packers had a couple of huge, huge drives that took up a lot of time in the third and fourth quarter. They had like two drives that were like twenty-four plays combined. Took up a lot of clock, you know, but the Packers defense obviously could not do too much because the Ravens were in it the entire game, you know, and everything like that. And I mean, again, Tyler Huntley was balling in this game. He was balling. But unfortunately, it comes down, this game came down to, again, a fourth down decision by John Harbaugh and the Ravens. And the Ravens. They fail on it again, you know, Huntley trying to get the ball out to Andrews, and it just did not work out. And that's how the Ravens lose this one. That's how they lose it. It, it kind of sucks that the Ravens, you know, just completely fell from the playoff pitch for being, you know, what, first in the AFC North to end the hunt for a playoff spot. They're not, they're not even in one of those seven seeds right now, you know, that could get in at this moment. Saints Buccaneers is probably the most surprising result of the night. I mean, the Saints defense whipped Tom Brady. They were all over this man. Brady lost all of his receivers. Fournette's out. You know, Godwin's out. Antonio Brown is out. You know, I mean, they're still Gronk. You know, Mike Evans I think was out too. I mean, everybody was just out. You know, you can't count on Taysom Hill to do anything for you. You can't you can't count on him to do anything. I mean, I mean Brady and company could not do anything the entire night could not do anything and they got shut out Brady got shut out for the first time since what 06 that's crazy crazy talk that 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 just doesn't happen it's Tom Brady that just doesn't happen man it does not happen um the Browns were one of those teams that were affected so their game against the Raiders got moved to Monday and um you know Browns unfortunately missed the field goal late you know, 
Nick Mullins got the start. Nick Mullins, I know, right? Nick Mullins got the start. He did okay, you know. He gave the ball to Nick Chubb a lot. You know, Derek Carr did, you know, just enough in this game. And, I mean, it's unfortunate for the Browns. You know, they lost this game. They, they, they are now in a crazy, crazy position in the, in the AFC, you know, where the AFC North is just a log jam right now. Raiders, you know, trying to stay in the playoff hunt too. They did, they did not look good in this win, I'll tell you that much. They did not look good. Did not look good at all. And the Vikings and the Bears, Bears are eliminated now from playoff contention. Vikings back into it, you know, with a huge victory again. You know, it's unfortunate for the Bears. I mean, it's unfortunate for Justin Fields' company because a lot of Chicago fans were like, this is the second coming of Bears football. And it just hasn't panned out this year with Matt Nagy and company still on the sideline. It is what it is, man. It is what it is, you know. It's unfortunate for the Bears. They're going to have to come back and maybe try something next year, get an O-line, you know. I mean, their defense is still good. But I mean, they got to get an O-line. they got to get some They got to get some more help on the offensive side of the ball, in my opinion. Washington was also affected. I mean, they were up early on the Eagles. I did not watch this game, by the way. They were up early on the Eagles. Um, and, you know, the Eagles were able to pull away, you know, late and – the Rams were able to beat the Seahawks. I believe the Seahawks are pretty much done as well. See, Rams did just enough in this game to, you know, take take what they needed to take. And, I mean, Cooper Cup is just a monster, man. Like, dude is unreal. He had another nine catches for 136 yards. Anybody stop this man? Can anybody stop him? Somebody. Somebody stop him at all costs, please. I'm, I'm begging you. I'm begging you at this point. Um... So, the NFL standings are a bit crazy. Like, like we still got three teams plus another four, so that's seven, plus another 11. And then you got, you got 13 teams competing for seven playoff spots right now. And there's just a logjam of seven and seven, seven and six, eight and six teams, you know. I mean, it's just a log jam of them. Like, it, it's it's kind of hard to place where everybody's at right now. You know, you get what I'm saying? And then on the NFC side of things, uh, things are a little bit easier. Uh, Cowboys, I'm not sure if they've clinched a division yet because of the Eagles' win. Um, they can clinch it next week, however. Um, Washington's still in the thick of things with the Eagles and the Cowboys. Then you got the Cards, Rams, and 49ers in it there. And then the Packers and Vikings. Vikings still battling it out. And then the Bucks and the Saints, you know, with the Falcons trailing behind the Saints. Um, so really, you know, Bears, Lions, Panthers, Seahawks, and the Giants are pretty much out of it at this point. I don't think there's going to be enough games for any of those teams to get back into it. Um, you know, but... Packers did clinch the NFC North. That's really the only thing that got clinched yesterday. Nobody else has clinched anything yet, at least in my opinion, or at least it's what I can see based off of everything. So, you know, that's going to do it here. Um, again, a crazy week of COVID, and it's still it's not stopping. Like, there's probably reports right now of somebody getting COVID. Like, I just saw earlier today, like, more. Like, Chiefs, Chiefs players are getting COVID. Everybody, everybody's just getting COVID. And it is what it is. Like, I, I just don't know it anymore. We're probably going to have some games moved again. But at least we could talk on Thursday, you know, probably, hopefully this time. We can talk on Thursday, you know, and get this, get this week 16 preview out. Get it out for you guys and get, get us ready for, you know, another crazy, crazy, you know, week 16, I'll have all the scenarios and stuff like that, too, you know, just to get them out the way and stuff. So that's going to do it. I'll see you all tomorrow to talk about the NBA. We're going to talk about the NBA on Christmas and what my feelings are as we stand with the NBA right now, everything like that. But until then, good night, everybody, and see you tomorrow.